Welcome back guys to the PVZ Ultimate Guide. Thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching the videos. This episode we're going to delve deeper into the multiplayer stuff. Well, I mean the entire game is multiplayer. So uh, we've done Garden Ops in the previous episode, which is the Horde mode kind of version. We're going to go into multiplayer. Now you've got different kinds of multiplayer. You've got Welcome Mat. I'm not going to cover Welcome Mat. Welcome Mat is basically just a fight. Uh, you can get used to the controls. You can't use any customization on your characters or anything like that. But it is just literally straightforward fight. Um, and it just kind of basically gets everybody off the ground on the same on the same level pegging. I mean, you can just kind of skip through that if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But uh, then the other modes, we've got Team Vanquish, you've got Gardens and Graveyards, Classic Team Vanquish, Classic Gardens and Graveyards, Mixed Mode, Gnome Bomb, Vanquish Confirmed, and that's it, basically. Now, I'm not going to cover Classic of Team Vanquish and Gardens and Graveyards. They are basically the same version, same as the regular ones, except you can't use customization, you can't use special characters, so you're just stuck with the standard uh, characters for the team. So it's kind of cool if you want to play with something like that. If you haven't unlocked a lot of special characters yet and you kind of keep on getting beaten by that special zombie, then uh, just play the classic mode, unlock some more, and then you can jump in onto the regular stuff. So today's episode is Team Vanquish. Uh, now there's party matchmaking now, which is a new thing they've introduced, basically uh, allows you to, <clears throat> basically you can go, where well, you're in a party, you hit party matchmaking, it finds you a game that everybody in your party can join. Uh, much like the Halo system as well, it's just taken a little while to put that into an update. So we're going to search for just a regular Team Vanquish game. I'm going to stick with whichever team it is that I end up on, uh, either plants or zombies. Dual Junction. Oh, this is the new, uh, the new level. Basically, Team Vanquish is you've got two teams. Uh, I think it's up to eight people per team, if I remember correctly. But that does mean that... I don't know. I think it's more than that. It might be 16 per team. Well, we'll know soon enough, as soon as the names come up. Uh, but basically, the idea is one team is plants, one team is zombies. You have to fight each other. First person to get 50 kills for their team wins. That's simple. Uh, also, reviving your teammates does mean that they lose a kill as well, which is very cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for zombies. We will go for the All-Star. We're going to go for the Cricket Star, who is a special All-Star character, which will be covered later on in the series. There he is. Look, look at him. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so, like I say, the objective is to get 50 kills. If, uh, when you die, you get a certain amount of time for respawn. Now, if you do respawn, if you do uh, sorry, revive someone, then you can remove a point from their score. So you can effectively just win in general. Uh, what is going on? Oh, no, okay. This is a weird level. I get the feeling a lot of people are going to end up dying getting hit by a train. Oh, sunflower. Uh, so, yeah, this is the basic principle of it. Uh, I am going to do what I did in the last episode for Garden, Garden Ops. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit uh, and I will drop in and out and uh, just kind of explain a few things as we go. First off, I'm going to mute these guys because they're annoying. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So maybe it's twelve per team, I'm not sure. Uh, but there aren't space for more than that. So that's it, right? Well, I'll catch you soon. Enjoy the action. There you go, now you can see that when you're respawning, you can either respawn straight away or you can choose which character you want to be. Um, and then basically, yeah, from there you can change to a different class if you like, if you're not enjoying the one you're playing as. But also, like I say, it does take a kill off of the enemy team, which is pretty handy. And multiple times. Now, who is doing that? Who is doing that? Huh! Yeah, I need my shield. Oh no! Well, close enough.
other thing worth bearing in mind, which I uh, missed out on there, is basically that while you're reviving, as long as you don't move your feet, you can also shoot at people and look around. So uh, basically, if you're standing there reviving and getting shot at, you can turn on the spot and you can try and shoot back at the enemies. It's a little bit hard to hold down B while you're doing that, but it is a possibility. So remember that. That's another little tip for you. And there's the first encounter with the chomper. Wonderful. I'll get to those in part two where I explain the characters, but chompers are kind of the thing you want to look out for. When you're playing as zombies, if they can get near you, then they can kill you. Basically, one hit kills. So uh, look forward to that episode. whole bunch of people getting just KO'd in general on that right on the uh, kill screen there. I'm figuring I think just a lot of people have been hit by the train. It also seems that the closer you come to the end of the match the more times the train comes through. It's definitely coming through a lot more than it is than it was at the beginning that much is for sure. Now you will also get an assist um, the person who gets the points for the kill is the person who makes the final hit. Uh, the person who doesn't, you'll only get an assist. Even if you do 90% of the damage, if someone else takes that final kill, that final hit, then uh, you will lose out on that. Now you can see there that I lost that match and I earned just about the same amount as a Garden Ops game on easy. Um, so that gives you an idea as to what kind of, uh, what kind of level of points you're looking at with the different modes. So 2,500 for losing on there, 2,500 for winning a Garden Ops mode. If you win on there, then you'll probably get a bit more. And it also adds up all your kill streaks and everything like that during the game too. So that's it. That is uh, just the standard team vanquish mode in uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. So thanks for watching the episode. Uh, once again, give a thumbs up if you like it or subscribe if you want to see some more. Every single day, uh, the Ultimate Guide will be coming back at you. And tomorrow we'll be dealing with gardens and graveyards. So thanks very much, guys. Catch you around.